Sure. So this this is a um, OB question, and when I teach this, I, I I I say in class, how many ways are there to deliver a baby? And most people will say, well, two, vaginally and cesarean. And coding wise, there's actually four ways. There's vaginal, cesarean, and Boyd's going, what? <laughs> and there's um, VBAC, which is vaginal birth after cesarean, but there's successful VBAC and failed VBAC. So those are the four main groups. When you want to think of OB delivery time, how is the baby delivered? Those are the four different ways. So in this question, it says that even though, or although the patient had a previous cesarean, um, the physician allowed her to attempt a vaginal birth, that's a VBAC, and after trying, um, it didn't work. Okay, so they ended up doing a cesarean. And anyways, that's a failed VBAC. Um, so if you look in your coding manuals, you'll see those, those four groupings. So what I did on the next slide is I took this question and I wanted to show her how to, to break it down. Hopefully you're, you're on, Judy. Um, and I did my little col color coding, like I was explaining before, trying to find the patterns. So right away, hopefully you learned from the previous slide, my mind's thinking A is going to be wrong, even if I didn't read it, because I've got three instances of the 618 code, the 59618. So to me, that's going to be a correct code, and that's an answer B, C, and D. So I've already thrown out A with hardly even looking. Um, and because, uh, let's see here. All right, so I did look it up, and that's routine obstetric care, including antepartum, the cesarean delivery, and postpartum care. So it talked about the, the physician seeing the patient um, Right? It's the same physician, same physician throughout during the hospital stay and after the same physician provided the postpartum care. So they did the pre, they did the, not pre op, uh, prenatal, um, the delivery and the post op. That's called the OB package. And the four packages are vaginal, cesarean, successful BVAC, and unsuccessful. So the 59618 is the unsuccessful, okay? Because here it was, a, it ended up being a cesarean delivery following attempted vaginal delivery. Okay, that's your failed to be back. So we wouldn't code 59620, cesarean delivery only, because it's it's bundled in to 618. So answer B is wrong. Um, I know she was saying that that was what the answer key said, but I don't agree with it. So it could be a typo, you know, things like that happen. Um, so that leaves it C or D. Now the other this was twins, right? Da -da 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 -da. Yes, with twin gestations, okay? So, and it said two healthy newborns were born. So if there was only one baby, it would be 59618 done. But because there's two, the question is, hmm, do I report another unit of 618 with a 51 or do I do modifier 22? Um, I did some research on it and I'd say 80% of the answers were modifier 22, but some payers actually want you to list it twice with a 51. So I don't think this is actually a good practice exam question because it's really pulling in reimbursement stuff like payer preference stuff. But um, if it were me, I would go with D unless I, I got um, information from the payer to um, do it differently, okay? Okay, um, oh, and I had one little extra thing, because it used to always confuse me, Gravita 2, Para 1, unless you're, you know, um, a uh, OB person where, you, where you're familiar with this. I think I have the next slide for that. Uh, again, I got this from Find a Code. They have the Dorland's Medical Dictionary built in there. You could also, you know, Google these. But Gravida is a pregnant woman. So Gravida 1 means during the first pregnancy. So in our situation, she was, uh, what was she, hang on. Gravida 2, Para 1, because um, this is her second pregnancy. And the Para 1 means she had, has a previous child that, so a woman who was produced viable young, <laughs> regardless of whether the child was living at birth. So um, Gravita 2, Para 1. It's her second pregnancy, and she delivered once before. 
Get more CPC exam tips, coding certification training, and CEU credits. Go to www.codingcertification.org.